A few months back, I spent a day designing and 3D printing this twisty puzzle right here. I never really made a video about it, for reasons I don't really care to remember. Anyway, it's in pieces right now, not because it fell apart, although I might have done that anyway, but because I couldn't really stand to look at it anymore. The curvy copter is such a great looking puzzle that the mechanism I first designed didn't really do it much justice. So I set out to redesign this puzzle. Only a few changes need to be made to the internal mechanism, so I decided I'd see what would happen if I combined the mechanism of an edge string cube with the external geometry of Meissner's tetrahedron. I really liked the way that turned out, and I started printing it that day. After a few days of on-again, off-again printing, I had a functional, albeit slightly large puzzle, almost ready for ironic, cinematic outdoor shots. Normally, I'd get stickers made by a sticker shop, but I was feeling impatient, so instead I ordered some vinyl sheets with two-day shipping, then spent a day hand-cutting stickers myself. So here's the finished product. I'm pretty happy with the result, although as always, I think it could be better. It's a really interesting puzzle, but the shape shifting is pretty predictable since the original curvy copter only makes 90 degree turns. The jumbling feature is present as well, and I'm really just looking forward to the solve on this thing. A uh, few more things about this puzzle, it's pretty substantial. I mean, it's probably as large as it can really be. That made stickering a lot easier, and honestly with this mechanism I think it really adds to the playability of the puzzle as a whole. I didn't like how small the pieces on my ruler minks were, although I think there's probably some kind of compromise size between the two that I could try out. I'll probably make another puzzle derived from this one over the summer. My initial plan was to get this far, see how well the mechanism worked, then tear it apart and repurpose the pieces, but this actually turned out so well I think I'll keep this version as is and build the next puzzle from scratch. <laughs>